guys, uh, Gary Gray here again, Charles Gracie Academy, Reno. Uh, I got Robert today, I'm just gonna go over a couple um, arm trap things from cross side and also go over that little mouse trap scenario for Khmer's and Americanas to trap the arm. So a couple tricky little leg things. Uh, basically from cross side, um, I, I wanna get this near arm. So one of the things I'm doing, I sit out, as soon as I sit out, I don't wanna posture up to where he's framing off on this. So I sit out, keeping my head down. But what I want to do, I need to get this arm inside. I need it inside of his arm. I don't want him getting inside me, getting his elbow down. I need to get this elbow. As soon as I turn, this elbow's pinching to my hip. So that from my armpit all the way down to my elbow, he can't get underneath there. Okay? And what I'm doing, a couple things, I'm just going to make a little snake out of my hand here. Catch. And just turn it in. So boom. Right here. Right here. Just catch. Keep my head down. And all I'm doing here, a couple tricky ones. I'm just going to step over the real fast and pinch this down. Fun. Keeping this arm hugged tight like a man from the phone, head down. I got strikes, punches, chokes, the whole scenario set up. If I want to step over the head for my triangles, I can come here. And again, I don't want to slide this leg over the head. I'm driving forward, pushing this away. I have triangles, arm locks, commercials, Americanas. Again, strikes, the whole shebang there. So, so that's the first one through here. Boom. Here. Catch it. Okay. If you want to pinch, finish from here, or work on some chokes, setups, and, and, and such, great. Usually I'll come here and one, two, and then I can tie them up, triangles, okay. um, reverse arm locks, Camaros, Americanas, work up your chokes, the whole, the whole thing's from there. So that's stepping over the arm completely. The next one is what I'm going to do is the exact same thing here. I'm just going to put my knee over the top and come down. From right here, again, once I have this down, same thing, hugging this, answering the phone, can set up my chokes, there's a whole bunch of lapel chokes, and a whole series of things that you can do from cross side that you have trouble doing when he's here defending with his arms and stuff. So if I can take this one away, it definitely helps. So I sit out, get this elbow inside, touch and make a little flipper here. Knee, Ooh. this knee block blacking, back blocking his hip here, pinching this, and strikes, chokes. Z moves, I can use my tails, I can use his tail, I got a whole plethora of chokes I can do for him. Um, one thing that happens a lot here is this guy starts trying to get this arm out. When he's trying to get it out, what I want to do is I want to move one without replacing the other. Take this, and I windshield wiper right here as he's trying to get out, and then I switch. Now I have that trap, and again, now I can twist up over the head, and still finish chokes. And as he tries to get that arm out, I just windshield wiper back and forth here, just like this. I don't want to see you do this and lose the arm. Okay. So when you're here, if he tries to get it out, he's going to go towards the foot. Cross, boom, he goes again. As he's trying to get out, I can see here attacking his arm, working my chokes. He's a multitasking arm. Every time he tries to get that arm out, I just windshield wipe with the feet. It's really simple. Third version of that, in here, sit out, get in here. I drive this knee over the top. I keep the wrist this time. And what I'm doing from here, I keep this wrist pinned to my butt, and I lift his elbow up. And I windshield wiper this under his elbow, and then I sit back. And from right here, when he tries to pull his arm out of there, he's really stuck. Even here, if he tries to pull out, it doesn't come out. It's hard for him to turn in because he's so close to me. Yes. So, from again, from right here, it helps me set up these chokes, strikes, get a kimura, whatever I want to do. It's easy to step over his head. If your arm locks or whatever, you're gonna do. The whole thing is his. Uh, Protecting and again, a lot of the places I'll do this is the cross side, and I want to attack with his tail, his arms, my tail, the whole neck. But it's difficult when he's got all this defense going on. So I trap here, sit out, get this blocked here. Now I have a free shot, step over the head or do that. Or here, free shot, windshield wiper, back and forth, okay, or trap. So it's just a whole bunch of little tricky ways to trap that arm. The other version, the other thing I want to show you is the far side. Um, it's a little mouse trap system. I have this arm, and typically what I'm doing, my arm and his arm are trapped on the same side of my head, and I want to get that arm. And right now I have a shot at a Kimura. So what I want to do to get this without all this space getting created, take this wrist, and I match my wristwatch basically to my elbow. I hop it over. Okay, now that I have that control right here, I take this hand, come back, stick it right into this little hole, and my head and my wrist, back of my hand, fish out from my Camaro. Okay, if he gets his arm out of that, straightens out, he's trying to get away, I hug to this side. Again, my arm, his arm, same side of the head, hug. Now I have an Americana shot. So I want to take this, same thing, I'm holding his arm, he's trying to move it, it's not going anywhere. 
pop. Now this arm sneaks through here. And don't create all this space. If you come here, use your head. And back then, there's my arm pop. He straightens that arm out. Catch right here. Just hug that thing tight. Okay. Pop the elbow. Right here. And the back of my hand goes out, so when he tries to straighten his arm, I can catch it. Okay. Then he moves it out, gets away, trap, pop. Back of the hand, in case he tries to move his hand, I can catch it. So back and forth, you're just doing that little mouse trap. Pop, 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 pop. And that's pretty much it. It's just kind of some little tricky mouse trap and uh, um, control ways to get over that arm. But the key thing when you sit out, make sure you keep your head down and get that elbow pinch tight so there's no hole for him to get inside. Once he gets inside, you're not getting that out of there. So that's it for this week. Uh, BJJReno.com. Thanks, Robert.